My name is Leah Harper and I work at the Smithsonian Institution for Marine Geo. I am the central technician, so I travel to different locations um, with different marine environments around the world and look at biodiversity and nearshore habitats. One of the research projects that I'm working on right now is looking at coral disease in the Caribbean Sea. So corals are animals, just like you and me, and right now they're getting this contagious disease at record levels. It's affecting about one third of the coral species in the Caribbean. Um, so we're looking at how it spreads um, and we're looking at individual corals that we've tagged before they got disease at our site in Belize um, and tag them so that we can find them later and then if the disease gets to our station in Belize, which hopefully it doesn't, but if it continues to spread, we'll go back and sample the same corals. We'll take some tissue and some coral mucus and see if, um, if we can learn anything about which corals are resistant to the disease and which cor corals are more likely to get sick. We can identify the disease visually because it causes corals to lose their tissue. So you'll see a white band of bleached coral tissue and then you'll see bright white skeleton. So that means that the coral animal has completely died from that part of the colony and um, the disease tissue progresses and eventually it kills the whole colony in most cases. We're going to be monitoring our marine geo sites. We monitor them every year to keep track of coral health and fish diversity, um, but this year we will be paying extra attention to see if we see signs of disease on our sites at uh, Kariboki. I was always interested in being a marine biologist, and I don't really know if I could even say why. It's something I wanted to do from as long as I can remember. But when I was a little kid, I wanted to study killer whales. So my goals have changed a lot since then. I became interested in coral when I traveled to the Caribbean for the first time about 10 years ago and got a chance to scuba dive on a coral reef and learn about all the different coral species and um, the fish communities that are associated with them. And that got me really excited about a different path. My best recommendation for kids who might want to become scientists is to ask any questions you think of because there are no dumb questions and you can learn a lot by asking the people around you, um, what kind of tree is that? Or why does that bird sound that way? Just anything you can think of um, and you never know what will spark your curiosity and motivate you to um, pursue a career in science.